Hello, thanks for watching HeatAddicts.com. Today we're making hamburgers. We're going to make hamburgers with these guys here. Get you to take a look at this guy. Beautiful looking pepper. We got these from Refining Fire Chilies and Jim Duffy. These are chocolate scotch bonnets. We're going to mix these up in our hamburger meat before we cook up the hamburgers and uh, just top it with a little bit of provolone cheese. Just kind of let the pepper shine through. We've got a few of those that we've got there, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and get these chopped up, uh, remove the seeds and everything, and mix it up with our meat. I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm going to show you how this meat all goes together for these burgers. We've got, we're going to start with one egg. I like to mix that up a little bit, get the yolk just beaten a little bit. And helps it mix up a lot better. And we've got our chocolate scotch bonnets. About four peppers. Four, they're good sized peppers too. We've got one small yellow onion, petitely diced. And we're going to go into this with about a pound and a half of ground sirloin, some good ground beef. I'm going to mix this thoroughly. You want to make sure that you wear gloves when dealing with hot peppers. Them oils will get everywhere and you don't want them everywhere, I assure you. I'm going to need about three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs and this will actually start to come together and you'll notice that it's formable if it still seems like it's a little runny and it's not holding together you can always add a little bit more breadcrumb at this point it's starting to hold together we're going to go right in here with about a half a cup of blue cheese crumbles not too much because that cheese will get soft and it'll break apart when we're grilling these. Now depending on what size burgers you'll make, I like to make uh, about five burgers with, uh, with enough meat this size. So you're going to get a burger that should fill one person up. Just a good size burger there. You want to make sure that your meat you can see the peppers throughout, and you can see the bits of cheese all throughout. Alright, we're going to take these out to the grill, and we're going to grill these up. Okay, here we can see those. Lots of pieces inside each burger. You can see the all that white there on the camera. That's the cheese, blue cheese. You can see all the dark specks through there, which is the pepper. These just got on the grill. We're going to cook these to about a medium with some pink in the middle. This is why we buy good beef. Okay, here we are. Here's the burger off the grill with the cheese on there. We got a little provolone cheese, slice of tomato. We're going to get a couple pieces of bacon here. And then we're going to put a little bit of blue cheese dressing just to top that off and there's our burger there you have it this is the blue cheese bacon chocolate scotch bonnet burger